I'm supporting Gloria Lariva. I support Gloria. Gloria Lariva. Gloria Lariva. Gloria Lariva for president because all her values and her points uh, reflect my own values uh, and all the basic necessities that humans need. Uh, we have a very clear program for working people housing, education, health care, and that public education should be a right. All rights for queer and trans people, you know, rights for undocumented people, rights for immigrants, you know, all of these things, these are all necessary. Policies that would benefit um, the poor and oppressed people in America. But she stands for the future of the working class struggle in the way that we're going to organize and lead towards real change in this country. She's always been on the ground working with communities. She was in Ferguson uh, after Mike Brown got shot. She was in Baton Rouge. All the other candidates that are running in these bourgeois elections and the two-party system, I haven't seen one defend the self-determination of Palestinian people. She speaks boldly and courageously and beautifully about what socialism is. She talks about the needs of the workers. The Lariva campaign is a real socialist campaign uh, and that wants to transform society, to reorganize society on a socialist basis. That means on the basis of meeting people's needs in a long-term sustainable way. I'm really concerned about like where my life is going to go, what's going to happen to my friends and family and loved ones. I think that the two candidates now, uh, they don't speak in my interest. You're hearing a lot that um, third parties don't really matter or they're not going to be able to go very far because they don't have the same amount of power and money and influence as the main two parties. I would say that Trump is a poisonous, racist, sexist, misogynistic, xenophobic, capitalist pig. But the antidote to that poison is not Hillary Clinton. I think the idea that the only way to defeat Trump is to vote for Hillary is absolutely bogus. Trump says all these racist, you know, xenophobic, disgusting things, but Hillary has literally done it for years on years on years. Her, her husband, and her and Trump are BFFs. We've heard Hillary Clinton say that she will continue deporting Central American children. So we're not for the lesser evil, we're here for providing a vision of a future. They always do the lesser to evil thing. We have to reject that and, and have confidence that we organized in the streets can defeat fascism, racism, and Donald Trump. I think it's a lie. Going with Hillary as a lesser evil is not true because she's as evil and has proven uh, to be evil. She is a warmonger. If we vote her in to office, we're guaranteed going to be in war for the next four years. She hasn't met a war in the last 25 years that she didn't like. We have these two, like, pathetic excuses for human beings that are like t fighting over who gets to press the button on World War III right now. For either the Democrats or the Republicans, that's throwing a vote away, right? And you're not voting for someone who really is fighting for what we need as, a, as humans, right? Like Eugene Debs said, I'd rather vote for somebody who I want and not get it than vote for somebody who I don't want and get it. Because by voting for Gloria, by voting for, you know, a third party that you really believe in, you know, you know, people can't say, oh, you didn't vote so you don't have an opinion. I think that we should vote for what our values really reflect to educate folks. I think it's really important that we um, show who we really want. Uh, to run this country. We have to build a new movement in this country. We have to build a socialist movement. We have to stand together. We have to build a new movement around Peace and Freedom Party and Gloria's party, the Party for Socialism and Liberation, will be a big part of that. So that's why I'm voting for her and I'm proud and happy to be able to vote for someone who is not Hillary Clinton or not Donald Trump, but who represents truly the interests of the working people.